Okay, my YouTube friends, today we're going to get back in the Wayback Machine and go all the way back to 1945 to uh, a guy that I have been remiss in not covering because he's one of the greatest natural bodybuilders ever, and that's Mr. Clancy Ross. Uh, this is talking about just the ideals of the Mr. America contest. This is actually from uh, his training partner, Mr. Leo Stern, who also was a big writer and uh, did pretty well himself in weightlifting. Uh, there's there's a lot of your physique covers that Clancy was on, and apparently he had some sort of arrangement with them. Uh, he was on a ton of magazine covers, and I'll, I'll sprinkle some throughout this article. Um, he did have a rough background in that when he was seven, his parents divorced. He became a ward of the state until he was 17, at, when he was 17, he did start weight training with a friend. They chipped in for a, uh, a York set, of course, and followed the York principles. Uh, but then when he was 18, we had Pearl Harbor. He decided to enlist in the Army uh, Air Force. So that distracted his training somewhat. Although when he got there, he ended up, that's where he met Leo. And Leo goes on to talk about uh, his training with Clancy and how that worked out. Now, um, you know, he played all the bunch of sports in, in high school. Uh, pretty much everyone was on the track team and actually set some sort of a record, which led him to, uh, I believe like the high school hall of fame. Um, so, and he wasn't a 90 pound weakling, but he, even when he was playing all those sports and he was, Coming into adulthood, he was a little on the light side, 135, 140. So it talks about here where um, he was trying to put on some bulk. And not too surprisingly, he actually was a moderate smoker, as it talks about here, and uh, found out uh, kind of accidentally that that was holding him back from putting on some weight, as you might imagine. Uh, but he did dabble in what they call the odd lifts, which was like the precursor of powerlifting. Uh, talked about that there. And he did go into uh, at least one um, Olympic meet. Didn't do great. It wasn't his forte. Hadn't had much training under his belt. And then uh, from there, he you know got into the more, more bodybuilding realm with Leo Stern and a bunch of other guys in the army. And he became a trainer in the army. Um, here talks about uh, his lifts at the time, what his body weight was, uh, prone bench, 340. Eh, you know, back in those days, that was respectable at, uh, you know, like 160 uh, something, 170 something body weight. So, uh, Certainly wasn't weak, and in those days, that was outstanding. I know in these days, it's kind of eh, but uh, consider the guy was natural. Uh, in the 40s, there was stuff available, but it really wasn't pop widely used, and it really wasn't very good. Uh, we really didn't have good <laughs> usable steroids until the 50s, and that's when, you know, steroid use kind of started taking off. But I do, I believe, and you see that uh, Clancy even won the first in his class in the universe in uh, 56 or whatever that was there. here This is a hard gainer from like the 90s. So a lot of staying power. And um, really his, uh, his physique, he looks bigger than the 185 to 190 that is claimed depending on uh, – what article you listen to. But as always, I have to give you a, a workout from Clancy. And here is this uh, six exercise chest superset workout, which oddly included quite a bit of cheating, as you'll see on this first exercise with the bouncing off of two boxes. Um, and uh, with these all six of these exercises he suggests where you do uh, three sets of each exercise, <clears throat> take a rest, and then do three sets of the next exercise. 
And then, um, actually, I'm sorry. Take, you take a rest between the two, between the supersets. So you do three sets of the first exercise, three sets of the second exercise, then take a rest, then move on. And he suggests, uh, six to eight reps for each of the exercises. But, uh, pretty interesting superset. And again, um, most superset workouts you see, people are always concerned about using super uh, strictness and stuff like that. There is actual bodybuilding footage from 1960, and there's the link to the YouTube channel. Um, I'm not sure who put it up there, but it's there, and it's it's pretty interesting. Uh, this is the magazine that the superset workout came from. This is a great issue here. This has... So much good stuff in it. I'm probably going to get three or four more videos out of it. There's Clancy. He looks pretty massive, right? And he's 185 there at like 5'9", five, 5'9 nine, five, nine and a half. So, you know, one of the best natural bodybuilders of all time, I have to say. Uh, again, I'm sorry I haven't posted anything about Clancy up until now, but there it is. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll consider subscribing if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time, and I'm out. Thanks.